What's up guys, welcome back to another video and today I'm going to show you what you need to play VR with your Steam Deck. So obviously you're going to need a VR headset, um, that's a prerequisite to this whole thing. Um, this one's nothing fancy, nothing special, I got it on sale on Amazon, it's a Samsung Odyssey Plus, it's OLED um, screen, it's great, it's great, it's not the best thing out there but it's great, I had to make this strap on here to help hold it on my head. A custom strap but what else you need is so obviously you're gonna need your Steam Deck and there's gonna be a couple things that you must have done on the Steam Deck and we are so lucky that we do have our ultimate Steam Deck black plate mark one and we made some quite a bit of changes and the main thing that you do need is you need access to your M.2 port so we have easy access right here and uh, we have an extension for the M.2 and we went ahead and placed it in the back. So now we can access this M.2 port from the back of the Steam Deck. We don't need to open it up. But if you don't have this, which you probably don't, um, and I promise when I finish out how I want this to lay out, you will have this available on DIYpoppy.net to download and print yourself. Or if you want me to print it for you, we can uh, do it that way but you need access to this M.2 port. That's a main big prerequisite. If you don't have access to this port, like with a special backplate like this, you can just remove the backplate and rock it like that. Secondly, what you need out of the backplate, don't worry about the ventilation mod, is active cooling. Because the IC chip behind here um, gets hot. And if you don't keep that thing cool, especially when you don't have the backplate on anymore or and or you, cause you will not be able to have, ooh, I just dropped that thermal pad in there. Uh, that's not good. Um, you won't be able to put the aluminum heat shield back on. Um, it's, it, you can't, if you're trying to access the M.2 port, so you do need active cooling. These are prerequisites. All right. So you figure that, you got all that situation dialed in. Now, what else do you need? You're for sure gonna need a dongle with at least USB 3.0 and a power delivery of a minimum 100 watts. That is another prerequisite. You're also gonna need Windows. So you're gonna need an external uh, SSD or you can run it off a micro SD. I would prefer to run it off a SSD though. Uh, it, everything runs a lot smoother when you're on a SSD. And the most important thing you probably need next to the VR headset is an external graphics card. And most of you, if you have a Steam Deck, you might not have one of these laying around. Um, so I want to let you know some prerequisites that you need. Um, this is a 6700 XT. You do not need to get this one exactly. What you do need is something minimum of a 5700 XT. I wouldn't go anything below that. So 5700 XT is last year's model or the last generation's model. Um, you can get those relatively cheap, used 100 to $150. This one I got used, the 6000 XT for 250 bucks off Macari. There are, if you, if you shop around, you, you can get these things relatively cheap. When it comes to this generation, I would go no less than the 6600 series. You might be able to get away with the 5500 series, maybe the 5500 XT, but I would still stick with the 6600 XT or 6650. They're all roughly in the same price range, but you will get a lot of good performance out of this and you will actually be bottlenecked uh, by your CPU in your Steam Deck. So the next thing you need is a M.2 to PCI X16 slot. You need to make sure it is that exact one there are some other ones here on amazon and i'll link this one in the video and i think they're unavailable right now and this one is a relative cheap cheap one this is this was like 35 bucks um it works great never had any issues with it um the only problem with this one is you need an external power supply to run it oh you need a sata port and you need a power supply with your uh, eight pins for your gpu 
And that's all you really need, guys. Quick recap of everything you need. Steam Deck need access to the M.2, whether you do extension like I did. You need access to this port and active cooling because those chips are no longer cooled because you have to lose the aluminum heat shield and most of you are probably going to lose the backplate as well. Going to need a dongle with PD charging. This one, very cheap, Amazon. Then you're going to need your M.2 to a PCI X16 slot, which is going to attack to either your extension or to straight into the M.2 port. And that is going to attach to our graphics card. And then that is going to attach to our headset. And that's it. That's all you need. It's a lot of stuff. Um, I think the real question is, should you do this? For me, I like to, I, I think this is cool because I already had everything. I, I didn't have to really buy anything. The only thing I actually had to buy for this setup is nothing. I already had everything. So actually, yeah, I didn't have, I already had extra, extra power supply. I bought the graphics cards for this already. I bought this thing three years ago during COVID. So I didn't really have to buy anything. So I would suggest if you have some of these things already, I think the main thing is that you really kind of need um, is obviously the graphics card. The graphics card is probably the most important thing. Um, probably a lot of you have been looking at uh, uh, VR headsets or maybe you have one already. Um, and the big limiting thing will be the graphics card because you just can't do it without it. I am going to try to see if we can just play it natively on the Steam Deck. So one thing I did notice, guys, performance-wise, with my current set setup with a 6700 XT, our, our CPU is boosted to 3.85 uh, uh, gigahertz with a 26 watt TDP. We could probably get away with a 24 watt TDP on the Steam Deck. We're getting about 80 frames in Beat Saber and Pavlov, so we're really getting really good frames. We're staying above 60. My, na my normal native desktop with the 3090, we're getting 120, but you, I don't even think this is 120 hertz. I think this is like 75 hertz. So it really, it, it really doesn't matter. So it all kind of really depends on what your headset can do. But um, right here, the 6700 XT and the Steam Deck power this thing beautifully. And my ultimate goal for these two, and which has been my goal this whole time, is to create a portable console. So I can still have handheld mode, with this easy connector but when i need more power you can plug it in easily with to a gpu but if you don't need it you close the hatch you're good to go and now another good selling pole is you can play vr now so guys thank you so much for watching i'll have a list of all the items i used in um in the description below and uh, links to the amazon if you want to purchase them uh, remember they are paid links um, for some of them uh, I'll try to see if I can find some good deals on this thing too. So um, thank you so much for watching. I'll catch you on the next one.